All right, what's up, YouTube? Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving and uh, you're back to burning off those calories. And uh, I have a quick video for you guys just to show you uh, there is a new update from Handshow for the 9 inch Linux display. Um, a lot of people have been reporting that the display, when you are in, uh, right now my lights are off, but I'm gonna turn them on real quick. So if I turn my headlights on, you'll see on the display, the uh, brights and fog light indicators uh, are now coming on. Uh, and this seems to be something that has uh, been since the last two updates. Uh, if you're not aware, if you are a owner of the full self-driving package, uh, Elon just announced that the full self-driving beta software has, non has now gone out to all of the owners of the software and hardware. Um, I believe you have to be on a certain software to get it. If you are on a software that is newer than 2022.36 branch, so if you're on like 2022.40, Unfortunately, you have to wait until the beta software catches up to that branch. Um, but if you are on something lower and you do have the full self-driving, you should have received the invitation to the beta, uh, which is pretty cool. But it has come with some issues. And one of the issues that has been being experienced is this issue with the hand show display. Uh, it's probably because Tesla changed something in the way the CAN bus is writing the information. And uh, I was reaching out to Handshow and they provided me with the link to the newest software for the display. And they have finally, finally updated their website to link the software for all the owners to access, which should have been done in the first place. It's taken them a while to do, um, but yeah, it is there. And I will leave a link in the description um, for the software so that you have the, um, the link and you can do the software yourself uh what you'll need is one uh tool that a lot of us don't have and that's this guy right here um you do need a usb c thumb drive uh this sandisk one has proved pretty good um you need something smaller than 32 gigs as well but what's cool with this one is that it's usb a and usb c uh, i will leave a link to this in this uh in the description below also for this uh, I use this exclusively for this display. I think it was like maybe 17 bucks, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, so then what you're going to do to update this, very simple, car has to be on, the display has to be on, and you're going to come around the back here, and you'll see there's a little port right there. You're going to take your USB drive, mind my hand please, and sorry, I'm holding the camera and the thumb drive at the same time. All right, so now what happens is you'll get a message on the display and it'll say version 3.13 MCU ready to upgrade. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit start. Okay, do not power off. You'll get a little status bar there. rebooting okay now you'll get another screen that says zk gui and boot logo you're gonna tap both of those and then on the bottom right here is an upgrade button you hit upgrade okay and then you'll get a second status bar it says upgrading don't cut off power so i'm trying to hold the phone where the angle the sun glare is, is insane right now. Uh, this this second update takes about a minute and a half. Um, it's very important that you don't cut the power off on the car. You could brick the unit. Um, and hopefully this addresses the issue with the uh, wrong indicators for the lights being on. Um, and I will say since owning this since May, uh, Handshow has been pretty diligent in getting out updates. The only issue has been having access to them up until now. Um, so now you see it goes back to this page. All right, what you want to do is on the top left corner here, there's an arrow. You just exit out of that. 
and we're back into the main menu. You can remove the the uh, USB drive, and the update is done. Let's see if it worked. Go here, headlights on, and boom, we're good. Okay, I do have my fog lights on, so uh, just so you know, on this particular device, the fog light indicator has always been incorrect where it's using the uh, middle ones here. Sorry, CarPlay connected. Um, so that for me is okay because I know my fog lights are on. You can see on my screen, fog lights are on. Um, I have reached out to Hanshow and they said that there's nothing they could do about that particular thing. But at least now the uh, auto headlights are in fact uh, not showing up anymore and you can see my headlights are actually on. So I put them back on auto, they'll shut off and the light indicators are now off. So if you're having that issue, hopefully this helps and uh, the yoke will be back soon once the shoulder's better. Um, and uh, yeah, stay safe everybody and see you on the next video.